Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here with WPCentral.com and I'll give you a quick tour of the brand new Purple Cherry Game Boy emulator that just hit the marketplace a couple minutes ago. We've been following this for the last week or two and we even got our hands early on a development release of it. So here we go, let's launch the app. It is absolutely gorgeous looking. It's the same as Blue Tomato as far as the UI. So it should look familiar to you except this now runs Game Boy ROMs. It goes for a buck twenty-nine. the marketplace of course is a free trial. Now like the initial release of Blue Tomato, this too does not have sound but it is coming. So just like Blue Tomato now actually does have sound for those Sega emulator games, uh, this too will have it. Let's go through the menu here. We have your start, continue, choose and play. We can do import. This of course has SkyDrive built into it. So you can just sign in and bring up your files. It handles zip files now, so you don't need to download your ROMs and zips, unzip them and upload them. You can just upload the zips to SkyDrive and this will see them, extract them and install them directly. It is pretty flawless. Uh, you can also have your settings here. You have portrait and landscape. You have your all frames, skip one, skip two, skip three, depending on your processor type, which is really nice. We're going to go with all frames since this is the Titan with a pretty fast processor. Uh, you have a color palette. This is kind of cool. You can use the pocket, which is sort of a black and white grayscale type system. I like original though, because I had the original Game Boy. I never played pocket before. Or of course, you can go through and choose your own colors if you like. We'll back out here. Of course, SkyDrive, games, you can reinstall the built-in ones. Let's go to choose and play. So this is what I have here. I have Donkey Kong, and Empire Strikes Back, Puzzle X came with it, Tetris, and Zelda. Now, of course, you'll see these titles are a little funky looking. Uh, I can go through and actually edit those if you wanted, so we can actually rename those. I'll probably do that later myself. And, of course, you have the game here, different save states. Let's go and of course you can pin to start, which is a nice option, save screenshot, share on Facebook. This is kind of cool if you just want to brag about the fact you're playing Zelda on your Windows phone. And compatibility list, let's hit pin. Yes, we want to do that. And there we go, now I have Zelda saved right to my screen. And there we go, it's right in this Zelda game. I was already playing it before. And you have the little paddle system here. Let's see if I can work my hands in. And we'll go through the little dialogue settings. It runs flawlessly, I'll have to say, on Windows Phone. And this is a very talkative character. <laughs> see if I... There we go. So as you can see, the frame rate is fantastic here. It is just really fast and fluid. You have all the buttons work. You have start, brings up your little uh, inventory. Select to bring up your map. I mean, everything works. Now, of course, let's go to the cool thing here. We can do landscape which looks absolutely gorgeous on here. I really love using landscape when I can just because it gives you that bigger experience. But the paddles are really nice. I love the way the paddles look by the way. I mean this really does emulate the Game Boy experience in a lot of ways. So I'm very very pleased with this. If you want to play Zelda on your Windows phone this is pretty much the way to go. We'll hop back. I'll show you a couple other games that I have here. Uh, Doculand is pretty good. Tetris for you old school fans is pretty nice. So we'll go and see if I can fit that. And there we go. So just as you expected, the old Tetris brings back a lot of memories. Of course, this will greatly improve when sound does come, which we'll expect probably in the next update. We'll follow that, of course, on WP Central. But there you go. That is Purple Cherry, the Game Boy emulator that's in the marketplace now. It goes for a buck twenty-nine. Highly recommended. Give the trial a shot. Let us know what you think. Take care, everybody.